In this lesson, we will begin shaping and sharpening our blade here in ZBrush. So this is where we left off the base geometry from Cinema 4D's loaded up as a Z tool in ZBrush. And so to start shaping this, I want to actually uh, add some uh, resolution. We don't need to do a lot of shaping here at the lowest level because we've gone to the trouble of matching that up to uh, some artwork in Cinema 4D. So we don't need to do any uh, changes to the overall shape uh, at this point. But I want to start uh, subdividing this. And so if I just subdivide it, uh, go down to geometry, if I just divide it with the subdivide smooth modifier on, it's going to be very soft. So I'm going to actually do the first subdivision without that selected. So I'll go ahead and divide that, which doesn't really change the shape. And then I'll turn it back on and start to divide it a little bit more. And so let's go ahead and add a few subdivisions. So up to maybe level six. And now you can see um, the main shape is still there. We still get kind of a division here, but it's pretty soft. And so I want to go ahead and start to sharpen some of these areas back up. So up under brushes, I'm going to actually start to use the polish brushes, and you can experiment with the different ones, but I'm going to use the hard polish here. And let me go ahead and turn on uh, symmetry. Activate symmetry in the X. And let me take the, let me take that brush size down a little, the draw size. And so you can kind of see it's a very small, small uh, cursor there, but you can see it's happening on both sides. So uh, what I want to do now is just go along those flattened areas. So basically these areas up here, and I just want to polish those so that we get a little bit more of a sharper edge. So just coming down to that point here, and then as it comes in here, I just want to move that model until I get the highlight so that I can see where that edge is. And just using that polish, to really sort of sharpen up that area. And some of these areas that are a bit smaller, we can just start to come in with a, a smaller brush and polish that up, okay? You can go on the other side as well. You just wanna get kind of a nice sharp edge on the front and back of these, okay? Now this is gonna be kind of a beat up sword, so it doesn't have to be razor sharp, but I do wanna get the idea that this is a a dangerous weapon here and we'll come in here and you can see in some of these areas where we've smoothed this without the smooth modifier it's a little bit um, there's some kinks in it and so we can come in and smooth those out before we use our our polish and then just come in and use that polish to kind of sharpen that area up in there okay and so in any of these areas that aren't quite sharp enough and come in and and polish those just holding down shift will allow you to smooth that back out if you get something that's uh, you've gone a little bit too far with okay and then on these areas the flat spots up above it you can also use your polish on those to kind of sharpen up those edges there okay for instance coming back here you can see how it creates almost kind of a faceting effect where you get that sort of edge Okay, we can come up here, do sort of the same thing. We polish the back end, and these, these brushes are really nice for kind of hard surface modeling. And so you can see that we can start to get some, some nice effects here. If you want to have an edge right in there, you can. Now you can see how this isn't quite uh, sharp. So if you want to just go use your move brush and start to uh, pull this geometry out a little bit, you can. Um, but we're going to be adding a little bit of variation to the blade. And so I don't want to make that too sharp. Okay. So you can see how we've defined this, the sharpness here, uh, a little bit better. Okay. And if you want to have this be a little bit sharper back here versus, you can see how this is uh, sharp up here, kind of a sharpened edge. And this is kind of a blunt edge. If you want to make that different, you can. Um, we can also come in here, you can see how we've started to get a little bit of a different look with some of the kinking in here. Um, and so we can go ahead and fix that up as well. Also, down here, you can see where this geometry is starting to come off. We can go ahead and just move that down. All right. So you just want to get that sharpened up just using your 
uh, polish brushes. And in the next lesson, we'll go in and we'll start to add some irregularity and do a little bit more sculpting uh, on the blade. So uh, we'll go ahead and do that in the next lesson.